the bowels of an old power plant, a sinister plot is hatching. Ha ha! At last the time has come to hatch my sinister plot. This lever will activate my blackout generator and the world will be thrown into eternal night. Not so fast, doctors. What? <gasps> Pajama Man! That's right, Fiend. And I have some gadgets of my own. Take that! Ah, not the Illuminator Mark V! Do you have anything to say before you're sucked into my portable bad guy containment unit? I wish you'd pick up your socks once in a while. Sure thing, Mom. You can consider that done. Okay, Sam. You remember tonight's the night we go to sleep with the lights off. Don't worry about me, Mom. I'm ready. And I can put on my pajama Sam mask if I get scared. That's good, dear. Good night, Sam. Good night, Mom. There's no need to hide when it's dark outside. No need to hide when it's dark outside. I'm not scared. Darkness lives in my closet, but that's okay. I'm not scared. Okay, I'm scared. I can't sleep with darkness hanging around in my closet. I'm gonna have to capture him. This is a job for... Pajama Sam! Now, where's my Pajama Sam mask? I need that and my flashlight and my lunchbox. I'm sure that my stuff's in here somewhere. Hi, I'm Sophie Cat Cosplay. You can call me Sophie. Um, and welcome to my channel. Um, if you don't know who I am, I am a cosplayer. I started this channel in the hopes of posting some more cosplay content um, and also some cozy, chill, nostalgic, um, childhood throwback gaming videos. Um, so if you've never played Pajama Sam, welcome. I'm so glad to be the one to introduce this uh, gem of a game to you. Um, I grew up with these games, as in these games, like Pajama Sam, um, Freddy Fish, the Humongous Entertainment Collection, were my very first computer games or video games of all time. And so I think that they actually got me into fictional stories. They got me into video games in general. So honestly, I think that I owe who I am today to Pajama Sam and the other humongous entertainment games. Um, if you have played these before, I hope that this is a happy little nostalgic throwback for you. Um, I replayed these so many times when I was a kid that a lot of it, I don't remember that animation at all. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I don't remember a lot of it, um, but I do remember some things. So I, one cool thing about the Humongous Entertainment Games, and I think this applies to most of them, not all of them, but most, is that every time you replay them, some characters and some um, items are going to be in different locations. So the game essentially changes every time you play it and you don't know what version of the game you're going to get. Um, and I just think that's amazing. For when this game came out in, I don't exactly know, but I know that it was the 90s. Um, when this game came out, like that's so phenomenal. That's amazing. I don't know of another childhood computer game that Sam is getting really impatient with me, so I'll hurry this up. But um, I don't remember another computer game franchise that did that kind of thing so I'm really excited to see what version of the game we're gonna get this time um, I am happy that you're here to come along with me I would love to make this a series and to do all of the humongous games that I have and I do own pretty much all of the Putt Putt, Freddy Fish, Pajama Sam games, and I will never give them up. So um, I'd be really excited to share all of them with you. So um, without further ado, let's help Sam find his, what was it, the flashlight, the lunchbox, the mask. Um, and as with the things that change in this game, I think that the locations of these items also change. Oh, here's my Pajama Sam mask right where it's supposed to be. I got so lucky with that one. How did that happen? Now I just need my lunchbox and my flashlight. Um, so obviously this is a point and click adventure game. This was the first one that I ever played. Um, it's very story based. Lots of trash in there. The animation is so detailed. Um, you can click on these little these little decor items like every almost everything is clickable and you get a little cute little animation and there's also a lot of um easter eggs to the other games and franchises uh, that you can click on Aha! my trusty flashlight we 
found it. Oh, and you know what else I see? This will help me capture darkness. Now I just have to find my lunchbox. You're so right. We got to find that lunchbox. Um, the socks. Hey, one of my socks. I forgot Mom about this said aspect. I should pick these up. This is where I'll put all the socks I find. Um, where should we put it? I'm a big fan of going in order, so let's just start at the top left. Um, very cute. Um, I think that it can be under the rug. Nothing under here. Sorry. Um, although I think that it would be really hard not to notice a lunchbox under my your rug. My signature yes. edition all metal pajama man lunchbox. I mean, my portable bad guy containment unit. I can keep darkness in this after I capture him. Okay, I'm ready to go into my closet and capture darkness. Um, so cute little fact. Uh, I think that Pajama Sam was my very first cosplay because uh, this is bringing me back. When I was really little, probably like three years old, my dad helped me make a Pajama Sam costume. And if I can find pictures, I will post them. Um, but I know that he made me a mask and he gave me a lunchbox and the flashlight and I played pretend like I was Pajama Sam. And I think that's kind of cool that I was a little girl who was just like, yeah, I can be Pajama Sam. Like, I don't know, just a really cute memory for me. Okay, let's, uh, I think we have everything. So let's get a move on. All right, I'm ready for action. All right, darkness, here comes Pajama Sam. Hello? Is anybody in here? Darkness? Hello? <gasps> Wow, this looks like where darkness lives, all right. I better go find him before Mom notices I'm gone. Well, there's no turning back now. Um, so something about these Pajama Sam games is they really play off of a child's imagination. Um, and they bring you into this world that essentially exists in Sam's head. This is how he's seeing his closet, I guess. And um, it's just amazing. Like the tree is a chest of drawers. Like that's, that's so cool. Like I'm being a nerd, but it, it's just so cute. Boy, I had no idea my closet was this big on the inside. I do remember that we're going to need hey, this. a board. It's too far to reach. Okay, so we're gonna have to come back to that, figure that out. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be clicking everything, but I'm so curious. Ah! <gasps> Whoa! Customs, customs, inspection. Well, 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 what have we here? Hey! Like a flashlight and a signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox. Did you declare these before entering the land of darkness, young man? Declare? Well, no, I guess not. I, um... I think we'd better confiscate these items. They could be dangerous. Hey, I need those. And you're traveling in disguise. Let's see what you really look like, hmm? My Pajama Sam mask. Pajama Sam, eh? Well, all right then, Pajama Sam. You can go, but I've got my eye on you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now what do I do? Now, as an adult, I don't think that I was scared of this game when I was a child, but I can definitely see, like the faces popping out of trees randomly kind of scarring you as a kid. Um, I don't think that messed me up. It could explain some things, I don't All right, so we are stuck here in a tree. Oh. 
Bro has... You can borrow that if you like. Upper arm strength. Uh, thanks. I feel bad about you losing your things. Yeah, how am I supposed to capture darkness without all my stuff? Well, I'm sure your things are here in the land of darkness somewhere. If you look around, you might be able to find them again. I hope so. I'll bring you back your rope later, okay? Good luck. Yes, the kind granny tree rope. Um, we do have a rope. I wonder if we can use that to get the board. Um, I'm not speaking totally out of memory, like vague memory. I was probably I was a young child when I played this last, but let's just see if it worked. Uh-oh. I hope that nice tree's not too mad that I lost her rope. At least I got this great piece of wood. At least we got that nice piece of wood. You know, you you just never know when you're gonna need a nice piece of wood. Uh Miss Tree, um, I'm sorry, but I uh, I lost the rope you let me borrow. Rope? Oh, that's all right. I can probably get a new one. You're not mad? Nah, actually, it's kind of a relief not to have to hold that rope up all day long. How are you... Okay, I was gonna say, how are you gonna get a rope? But they're stealing things from people who arrive here, so... I guess some kid is gonna have a rope at some point. That scary-looking place up there must be Darkness's house. I'll bet that's where I'll find him. Okay, um... Let's let's just go on straight to the house. That's amazing. <gasps> yep, this is Darkness's house, all right. All right. Um, I wonder what's in the mailbox. Dennis. <laughs> There's no mail. Beat it. When your mailbox verbally. <laughs> Uses you. These are pretty heavy. All right, I'm pretty sure. Okay, but my question is, we have to be in here first. These baskets must be the way up into Darkness's house. Are you gonna be able to reach them? Oh, I remember. <laughs> Just like side eye, what happened? Okay. I guess I weigh more than one stone. This little boy is pretty strong. Light. Um, let's let's go into what seems to be the kitchen. Nothing suspicious going on here, except for um, a face in the wall. This is one of those dumb waiter things. I bet I could fit in dumb there. Dumb waiter. That's a no no. We avow it. No, we simply can't allow it. Just like, oh, I, yeah, you're right. Um, I can't let you in for you. Might liberate the carrots that I'm holding for the huge green salad. <laughs> Not so long for one lyric. <laughs> okay, um. Turn my crank and watch me spew. Alright, you guys are freaking me out a little bit. Um Alright, 
All right. Um, I genuinely don't know if there's anything that we need in here if the cutlery is just going to keep singing. Chopping up my plate and then these vegetables of julienne. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, we might as well go all the way through. is just the waste. He drinks so much, you'd think he'd burst. Okay, well, I'm glad he's staying hydrated. Um, let's... If Going we... down. Okay. I feel like that's going to be part of a puzzle at some point. It was so dark. Okay, I'm gonna go. Right. Oh. And keep singing in there. Whoa. What happened? He's just taking everything in stride. I love that for him. Another um, sock. Found a sock. I better pick it up like mom said. I should match up these socks. Looks like I need to find a total of 10 pairs of socks. I'm going to be honest. Um, that was my least favorite part of the games growing up. I have never been a uh, collect-a-thon fan. I just want to get through the story. Like, I don't want to be looking for stuff, but I will try my best to find the socks. Why aren't you moving anymore? Um, yeah, I don't know, because the, the kitchen supplies were just like... <laughs> All right, he's gone. The kitchen supplies were just like ready to put on a show. I'm not sure what's different in the living room, but um, all right, let's go on up the stairs. Ah, uh, yes, the random door trivia guys. Hi. Hello, and welcome to the Brain Tickler. The game where you get to show how smart you really are. Actually, I just wanted to go through. I think we can arrange that, can't we, Wink? That's right, Blink. But you'll have to answer a few questions first, because as you know, no one can pass through the doors of knowledge without first playing the, the Brain Tickler. Let's meet our first contestant. What's your name, son? Uh, it's Sam. He's Sam, all the way from, well, wherever it is he's from. His interests include skydiving, channeling ancient spirits, and stamp collecting. I don't collect stamps. You're making that up. And he'll be playing today for the right to pass through the doors of knowledge. He'll be asked questions from four categories. Once he's correctly answered one question from each of the categories, he wins. And we all know what that means, right, Wink? Step right over here, Sam, and select your first category. Our categories today are comic book heroes, ancient Egypt, fruits, and the land of darkness. All right. Start with comic book heroes. Okay, I wonder who it's going to be heroes. about. All right. Here is your question. <laughs> who is the strongest comic book superhero of all? Wow, they uh, really kind of hold your hand through this one. the strongest comic book superhero? Pajama Man! That's absolutely right! Wow! That's one category down and three to go! You're doing well. Go ahead and choose another category. Let me try Ancient Egypt. All right, here is your question. Whose face is depicted on the Sphinx? Bro, we Whose just... Whose <laughs> face is depicted on the Sphinx? We just went from, like, zero to a hundred super fast. I... I don't know for sure. I'm gonna... King Tut. I don't know who that is. I King only Tut. know King Tut. No, I'm sorry. King Tut was an obscure Egyptian king who only ruled for ten years. The correct answer is King Kafre. Okay, I thought maybe because I did not recognize but that. But don't I'm worry, there so are sorry. plenty of questions left, so you can try again. That's right. So go ahead and pick a category. 
Apparently this game for six-year-olds is too advanced for me. Um, I think I know enough about fruit. I'll Let's go. Please. <laughs> All right. Here is your question. Apple pie is made with what fruit? They were like, all right, um, apple pie. Is surely made you can do this one. Fruit? Apples. That's correct. It's giving Good SNL out. celebrity jeopardy. All right. Which of the remaining two categories would you like to try next? All right. Well, let's let's go Let ahead and get ancient ancient Egypt. Egypt. All right. Here is your question. Whose face is depicted on the Sphinx? Did you guys know this? Um, I guess I King, King didn't pay enough attention. That's correct. In school. Well, at least we know that the Sphinx was made during King Khafre's rule in the Fourth Dynasty. You're really on the roll now. Are you ready for your final category? Um. Uh, uh, I'll take the land of darkness. All right, here is your question. What is the reading on the water meter located in the mines near Darkness's house? I can't just guess. Um, I don't know who this game show is marketed towards. Um, I, I don't, hmm. What is the reading on the- I've never yeah, been over there. I don't there. think I've ever been over there. Who would ever be over there? But hey, you can always go have a look, right? That's right. So go ahead and pick a category. Well, um, I don't think we can proceed until we read a water meter, so... Can we take a break and I'll come back later? Of course we can. Because there's always time for... The Brain Tickler! We'll be back after a few short messages. All right, uh, let's proceed. Oh my gosh, darkness must be right behind this door. I don't think we can go in there yet. Oh, this is one of the Easter eggs that I was talking about. This is from the Putt-Putt series, which is also super cute. Would love to revisit some of those. And there's Pup! You little puppy. Um, let's just I see what happens. I can't go in there until I get all my stuff back. Yeah, thought so. Um, all right. Can we proceed from here? What is down there? <laughs> Look creepy. All right. Oh. Oh. Apparently, we need to go explore a little bit more. Kids, don't try that at home. He is a regular gymnast over here. Alright. So that's a little sneak peek of the mines. Um, obviously, we know that we need to go there. We have an objective now. He's cute. I'm Pajama Sam. I'm gonna capture darkness and put him in a lunchbox. That's great. My name's Mud. Really? No, not really. Then why did you say it is? <sighs> Look, I I'm sorry, kid. I'm just real depressed is all. See, I, I used to roll all over the place on this here track. Up, down, sideways, loop to loop. What the fun I had. But then I got rushed. Rust? Yeah. Rust! See, my wheels are rusted stiff, so I'm stuck right here on this spot. Can't move at all. Gee, that's too bad. Yeah, especially in summer when the pigeons come down here for some shade. I don't know what to say about that conversation, um, except that he is my new favorite. Um, Another sock! Him and the refrigerator are up there for my favorite characters right now. No matches so far. Um. You're so right. Okay, let's uh, go find a way to get rid of that rust. So he doesn't have to be tormented by pigeons for yet another summer. Hi, 
Hello. My name's Sam. I'm going to capture darkness and put him in a metal lunchbox. After I find my lunchbox, I mean. Oh, pleased to meet you, Sam. You can call me Otto. Would you give me a ride across the river? Oh, no. I can't go in the water. I'd sink. I'm made of wood, you know. But wood floats. No, I don't think so. I had this friend and he told me this story about his dentist brother who, um, he was made of wood and he got in the water and he sank. Really? Straight to the bottom. It's so scary. I wish I'd been a car. I think your friend was wrong. Wood floats in the water. Oh, I wish that were true. Sorry, Doc. So funny. <laughs> Just like, no, you're wrong. I... It's the dentist board. brother told me. Okay, check this out. It's wood, right? Yes. All right, now watch. See? It floats. Wood floats. Yeah? So you'll float too. Go on, give it a try. I guess. Huh? Well, so far, so good. Huh. Well, here goes nothing. I'm doing it! I'm floating! Yahoo! Oh boy, this is great! Can I give you a ride somewhere? Come on, hop in! Um, I guess I just like threw that wood into the water without an explanation. <laughs> but I do like, there's little things that I do remember, but um, that it seemed like the logical choice. Like, oh, show him that wood floats. Um, I'm so glad that we just changed his life. Who knows how long he's been sitting there? Kind of like the mine car. I don't know how he got there. Um, I have a lot of questions, but um, I don't think that this is the type of game that is going to have a lot of like deep lore to it. Um, I wish that there was fan fiction. Um, I don't know if there's fan fiction for the humongous entertainment series. If you have written fan fiction, please direct it to me. I would love to read it. <laughs> I would love some pajama Sam. Um, no need to hide when it's dark outside more because this is wild. Um, okay, let's, let's go sailing. Going. Well, technically we can't do that since I'm not a sailboat because I don't have a sail. I know what you mean, but technically you should say, let's go floating or something like that. Sure, sure, whatever you say. Let's go sailing. Okay. Hey, um, Otto is one of those like, um, actually friends? Um, which direction should we go? I don't know why, but the right side is calling to me. Ooh, very pretty. Possible toxic waste. Very normal. Making some interesting noises. Oh, we've got a geyser. That will probably be... Oh, sorry. What did you say that thing was called? That's a geyser. A what? A geyser. It's kind of a hot spring that spurts up water and steam every so often. It works kind of like a coffee percolator. Water in passages deep down where the rocks are hot gets heated up to the point where it would normally turn into steam. Except it doesn't because of the pressure of all the other water on top of it. So it gets really hot and it expands and it pushes some of the colder water out of the top. That relieves the pressure, and all of a sudden, I'm the sure I had no idea what that meant when I was like, "Pow!" It erupts out along with all the colder water on top. Then more water flows down into the deep passages, and the whole thing starts all over again. Most geysers are located in Wyoming, New Zealand, or Iceland. The word geyser originated in Iceland from their word "geosa," meaning gush. Geysers are usually very unpredictable about when they are up. The most famous exception is a geyser called Old Faithful in Yellowstone kind of National Park in Wyoming, which erupts every 64 minutes, uh, give or take about three minutes. It looks like this one goes off a lot more often Do I cut that. him off or do I just let him go? Um, Please thanks go. a lot, Otto. All right, um, this game, I forgot how, um, how much it appeals to older audiences too because it's clearly made for children um but it's giving like fairly odd parents or spongebob where like you can enjoy it at any age because you will enjoy the voice acting um the silly jokes um the 
on-screen uh, gags. <laughs> Very entertaining. Well, this looks like we need to click on it. Me, an old hollow log. Maybe there's a frog in it or something. Rats, there's nothing in here at all. Uh-oh, I think I'm stuck. Yes, we're definitely stuck. I wonder how Pajama Man would handle this. Oh, that, that hamburger and fries? Um... Alright, I'm sure that will come Hi, into play. Otto. I'll be back soon. It's like a song? Another song! I don't remember what you get, if anything, if you collect them all. Probably because I never collected them all. Oh no. Oh. Oh. They look like they would judge me for having blue hair. Hi, my name's Sam. How nice. Do you guys know Otto the boat? Oh, I should say not. They're just like unnecessarily rude. Hold. Just where do you think you're going? Um, nowhere really. I just wanted to pass by. Just barging through like that? Without even asking permission? Have you no manners? It is customary. To... Oh no, this isn't another customs inspection, is it? Are you gonna take all my stuff? I assure you, we have no interest in your stuff. Phew. That's a relief. I'm sorry if I offended you. May I pass through? No. No? This is an exclusive road. It's for trees only. Yes, trees only. Now, be off with you. Alright, um... I don't want the trees to, like, steal my wallet or whatever they're gonna do, so... Let's... If we disguise ourselves as a tree, you'll never know the difference. Still no frog in here. Oh, oh there we go, there we go. I don't know why he's screaming. Whoa. Uh, tree coming through. Good day to you, fellow tree. That's what I should call you guys. Say, good day to you, fellow tree. And if you know, you know. Next time when I start the video. Hot in there. See if I remember. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's our Is that mask. My pajama There's a sock over there. I see it. This mask belongs to the people. It sure looks like my mask. Property is theft, man. Anyway, I need the mask to protect my identity as the leader of the Salad Liberation Front. The what? The Salad Liberation Front. We're a group of veggies fighting against the core system. We're tired of being relegated to the salad. We want to be the main course. Whatever. I just want my mask back. I'll tell you what. The other carrots are being held prisoner in the refrigerator in Darkness's kitchen. If you help me free the carrots, I'll give you back the mask. Okay, it's a deal. Great. I'll come with you to the kitchen so I can direct the operation. Okay, sure. There's a lot to unpack there. I don't think I will. Um, I'll just let it exist and um, I'll let you process that um cool that the carrot can float oh, nice um let's see what's going on here in this creepy little grove my name's sam you can call me ham gleaner where'd you get a name like that i didn't say it was my name i just said you could call me that if you want to oh uh thanks um, okay. So, I don't know why... <laughs> hey, pennies! 
All of these inanimate objects are just like. I wish. I wish the grass were greener here. Why are you wishing? I threw the penny in. Who's the wishing well here? You or me? Oh. <laughs> Bruh, you're so right. Um, take back what's yours. Okay, let's, uh, I don't know what there really is to do here right now. I'm gonna put on my pajama Sam mask, capture darkness with my flashlight, and keep him in my lunchbox. These people could, or these uh, yeah. objects could not care less about what is going on. He's just like, that looks like one of dad's okay. socks. I wonder how it got here. Dad socks. Oh my gosh. I think we have a match. Believe it or not. I guess I better put my ingenious disguise back on. Whoa. Uh, tree coming through. Good day to you, fellow tree. Good day to you, hello tree. I just, I love that. I remember now, like, how long these animation sequences were of him running through the woods, and I would get frustrated as a kid. Don't feel so good. I've always been impatient. I just really want. Okay. I really want some fries now. I know what I'm doing after this. Who's with me? Oh, I remember this. Hi, I'm Sam. I'd like to cross the bridge to see what's on the other side. Don't try to butter me up. If you want to go across, you'll have to pay a toll. How much is the toll? One pound of gold. One pound of gold. Who else lives here? Just darkness? Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Cute. There's some oil. It's an oil can. And there's some oil in it. Okay, let's see if we I can't open this door. There's no knob on it. You're so right. You you're correct. I am very silly. Otto's just like loading was a bad idea. My signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox. Were we looking for that? Yeah, I needed to put darkness in when I captured it. It's my portable bad guy containment unit, just like pajama man. Oh, I see. Rats can't reach it. Hmm. Do we have anything on us? I don't think the carrot's gonna help us very much. Um, not sure. I don't remember what to do there. This is really creepy. Ah, it's the geyser. Let's not learn any more about it. Let's just ride it up. Um, how about not right away, okay? How about no? He's like, this is the worst day of my life. I think we went everywhere. I'm so sorry if I missed a sock or anything. And if you guys are yelling at Bye, me, because it's I'll be very possible. Huh? But we do have oil for uh, Mr. I don't remember his name. Mr. Pigeon Sad Man Art. Let's change his like No, not the carrot. We don't. You can stay. Um. Here, I think change maybe your life. this might help your wheels. Hey, 
Hey, that's good. Now do the back, huh? Ooh, ooh, yeah! Yahoo! Whoopee! Talk about how good the voice actors are. I'm king of the tracks again, thanks to you, kid. Hey, what'd you say your name was? Sam. Well, listen, Sam, the king owes you big time. Anytime you need a ride through the mines, the king will take you. Um, I do know, I don't know if you've already uh, recognized it, but Sam's voice actress, I believe, is the same as uh, the kid from King of the Hill, Bobby. I'm pretty sure his name is Bobby. That's not a show that I grew up watching, but I did um, see it on the TV not that long ago. I was definitely pretty old, like in my 20s when I realized, and I was like, that's Pajama Sam. It blew my mind. Um, so good. So they had some really good voice actors for this series. Oh, this is so fun. Oh my gosh. There's a another song. sock. Let's just keep it going. All right, well, what are we gonna do here? Oh, we can keep going. It's another sock. What do you know, another sock? Uh, that doesn't match. I know my colors. Oh my gosh. Hey, King, what's this thing? Well, that's a water meter. It says 491. You remember that? I'm asking myself. Ooh. Don't even bother, oh. kid. It's a one-way door. Who builds one-way doors? I have questions for this darkness. What are you gonna do with that? You'll see. Okay, you be careful with it, yeah? By the way, what is this thing? It's a pickaxe for mine and gold. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know what that was all about. Gold! Oh my gosh, we can choose a direction? Okay, I don't know if this was right. Um, but I think that you have to be kind of fast. Oh my gosh. Hey, look at that! Wow, this must be gold! I don't know how I got here. Looking randomly. I warned you to be careful. Yeah, but look at all this gold I got. Since you're fabulously rich, uh, how about sharing the wealth a little? Say, let me have the small piece, huh? Deal. What are you gonna do with gold, sir? I have no idea which way to go. Just go. That was fun. All right. Good stuff. All right, well, I know that we can walk across the bridge now. Oh, we also have Mr. Revolutionary Carrot. Let's deliver him to his buddies. Oh, I'm so glad that it just like automatically does it. That dumb waiter went. I think he said they were in love. Won't you open the door since I have another victim? What? I surrender, not ever. Oh, wait. Now I see. You now have captured that troublesome carrot feeder guy. I'll open up my door so you can put that rogue inside my drawer. Oh no, our orange leader was caught. Our fight for our freedom for us. We are diminished. Completely finished. Carrot. Hey, 
guys. Don't you see? He's with me, and you're free to go. Free. Yes, free. Free. Uh -huh. Free. 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 Yeah. Free. Yeah. Free. Yeah. Free. 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 How many carrots? He only had carrots in there. I almost forgot this, but you've earned it. You have taken the tide and turned it. You may take this mask and wear it. A gift of gratitude from this carrot. Hooray! I finally have my mask. Two more things and I finish my task. That was interesting. Um... Let's go. Oh, we know the water meter reading. 491. Please don't Welcome make me do back the whole to the trivia show. Tickler, ladies and gentlemen. As you'll recall from before the commercial break, our contestant Sam was about to select a category. Our categories today are the land of darkness. Of I'll take the land of darkness. All right, here is your question. What is the reading on the water meter located in the mines near Darkness's house? It uh, really makes you remember, but it is designed to where you have to go and look at the number. I don't remember if that changes That's game to game. absolutely right. You've done your homework. You correctly answered questions from all four categories. That makes you the new Brain Tickler Grand Champion. Yes. I'm gonna add that to my, uh, my social media bios. Grand. Congratulations, what did he say? Sam. Gee, thanks. Brain Tickler. Dom Perignon, tell us what he's won. Blink as the new Grand Champion. Sam has won the right to pass through the doors of knowledge anytime he chooses. Isn't that fantastic? You mean I could go through right now if I want to? That's right. Wow. Thank you for being here with us on The Brain Tickler. Until next time, this is Wink. And Blink. Saying good night. Wink and Blink's wardrobe was provided by the One Coat Paint Company. Love it. Whoa! Trippy stuff going on in here. A visitor! <laughs> well, well, well. We don't get many visitors around here. How do you do? Pretty well, thanks. How about all of you? We're fine. Thank you for asking. I'm not. In fact, I'm downright downbeat. Oh? How come? Because I ain't got nobody. <laughs> I'm sure as a kid I was okay. <laughs> You're doing great, buddy. Um Hey hey, check this out. I'd swing my arms if I had any arms. My arms rest away. I'm nodding my head because I have a head moving ahead today. <laughs> He's just not impressed whatsoever. I can't reach it. Not sure why we would need to reach it. Nice view from up here. You be careful now. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, well. Uh, okay. I remember this. That looks like one of my big brother oh, Mark's socks. I did not even no, realize that was a sock. Too. He has a big brother Mark. We do have some lore. Oh. Even Here we nicer go. view from up here. Be careful now, you, you might break something. Oh, we got a swing. Pick up some momentum, I think. Don't remember what to do here.
So I gave up on that. Um, I don't know if it's an animation issue or if this is just one of those things that I don't have to do in this version of the game. Um, but generally there's supposed to be something there that you can click on. Um, I find it odd that you can still go that far if you if it's not this version of the game, but it's it's interesting. But we're just gonna leave for now, see if we are going to have to come back or if we can just um move on from that. And if I do have to figure it out. Yeah. The I'll Google it. Came off. Oh my gosh, I didn't do it. I barely touched it. Pardon? Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry. Okay. Um, anyway. <laughs> All right, um, well, we got our doorknob, so let's head on out. Maybe that's all that we needed from this area. Hello, Mr. Grand Champion. Let's get back on the boat. Let's go ruin Otto's day again. There's another sock. I got a sock. I don't know how many times did I go past there and miss it. I'm sure you guys were like, hello? Sock. Oh, that was a little bit rude. He didn't even ask. He just jumped right in. Okay, right, I think that we need to go this way if I am remembering right. Yep. Okay, so we do have a gold nugget. Let's see if that makes this guy any nicer. Why do people have to pay a toll just to cross a bridge? <laughs> to get to the other side, of course. Rules are rules. You're not some kind of troublemaker, are you? No, sir, not me. I wonder how much uh, Pajama Sam influenced my personality because I will, I will ask questions like this. I'm like, what are you gonna do with gold? Here you go. This should be at least a pound. All right, you're clear. Go on across. All right, that was weird. Go. Oh. <laughs> Just this little toaster guy hanging out. Havarti. I'm fine. How are you? No, no, no. I said Havarti. Don't you know how to play cheese and crackers? Mom told me I shouldn't play with my food. No, mm. cheese and crackers is the name of a game, see? Come on, I'll show you how to play. Hey, this is like tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-who? No, no, this is cheese and crackers. Pay attention. First, you need to choose which you're going to be, the cheese or the crackers. The cheese, of course. Okay, I'll be the crackers. You're trying to get Literally three of your say. cheeses in a row before I get three crackers in a row. I'll go first. Now you move. Um, so this is one of those things I said that I would point out, um, is being a nostalgic thing. Um, my dad and I would play cheese and crackers okay, because of this game. Turn. Okay, sir. Okay. Now it's my turn. Pretty rude toaster. Now you move. Watch me lose cheese and crackers to this animated toaster. Darn you one. I'll beat you next time. Right, do I get anything for that? Or am I just here for the giggles? Hmm. I'm just here for the giggles. Love that for us. Um, that was a... Hold it! If you're planning on coming back, I'll have to stamp your hand. Oh, okay. You wouldn't believe how many people try to cheat me. Thanks. So, this man's... I mean, this... <laughs> this bridge's entire job is to demand gold for payment so you can go and play cheese and crackers with a rude toaster. 
And I love that for him. I would love to know how he got that job because I would delight in that. Um, all right, well, we do have a doorknob now. Oh, this doorknob should fit the door. Once again, Pajama not, Sam saves the day with his mighty brain. The door is stuck. I think the hinges are rusty. We have just the thing. These hinges look kind of rusty. I better oil them. That did the trick. I still need to find my flashlight and my... Hey, sorry for interrupting, but I did not need to hear that again. My flashlight! Hey. I can't reach it from here! Well, let me stand here. Ooh. Now I just have to get my signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox and I'll be all set. All right, and we know where the lunchbox is. We just don't know how to get it. Darkness, watch out! I know there were some additional pathways in the mines. I don't know if they are important. Um, but I think that maybe we should go investigate that again. Um, if we have to go back to the chandelier room, I will cry. Um, but hopefully you won't have to see that. The question is, how to Sam? Am I gonna get confused remembering what passageways to go down? Yes, the answer is yes. Um, see how this goes. Step right up. Everyone's a winner. Um. That's the one-way door. Oh, there is a sock. I got another sock. That one blended in real well. Don't know where you... Okay. I think we went this way, and then there were different paths to go down. Um, can't go that way, obviously. What happens if we go straight? Oh, there was... okay. Okay. <laughs> try that one more time and see if there's anything that we missed. I think I clicked. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go up this way. Okay, well maybe... Maybe that was it? Oh, there was a sock! Oh, I'm so mad. We can't go back that way. We're gonna have to take the other way out. Oh, I'm so mad. I don't think we can get back out that way. All right, all right. All right, anyway, um, let's move on. <laughs> I swore that there was another sock. Am I losing it? Oh well, um... <laughs> All right, let's go back into the house. Um, we need to get something to get... We need to get something that will get that lunch box off the bottom of the water. I just, I feel like we're missing something. Well, I know we're missing something because... The thing is, there's all these like elements to the game 
but sometimes they're not important in the gameplay that you are playing. So I remember certain things, but I don't know if I'm remembering things that are not essential to remember. I just don't see why it always has to be you who reads the question. I deserve to read half of the question. It's just because I have a better... Oh, shh. It's the grand champion. Good evening, Mr. Grand Champion! Hi! What's... I mean, I feel like... Oh, oh my, very rude. Pardon? Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry. Sorry. No admittance. Important gravity experiment. Aha! We can go this way! I knew I was missing something. That door looks important. The Book of Clues. To see what you have never seen, you must push in only green. Ooh. This is very Nancy Drew. Whoa, that looks like a secret door. I don't see any way to open it. Okay, well, maybe if we push in green... <gasps> nice. <gasps> I think I saw something on the other side of the door. That's how we're gonna get the lunchbox. Oh no! I think I saw something on the other side of the door. Okay, we can go back. Okay, so yeah, do I have to grab the something on the other side of the door? Okay. I'm I'm getting the idea that there's something on the other side of the door. So obviously I need to click on that. Maybe I need to get to the other side of the door. Oh, I see. Okay, so <laughs> I thought it was one of those things where I had to click on it really quick, but clearly, like, we are playing as Sam, so he can't do that. Um, so what we need to do is go back this way and find another way into the room? Well, here we are. Burning. I'm picking up so many catchphrases from this game. Well, here we are. Burning. Well, here we are burning. I hate being a candle. <laughs> this peak like, writing right there, I love that. Ooh, this is cool. Oh my gosh, it's the dumbwaiter. Wow, okay. This is like a secret mad scientist lab or something. Alright, we got a friendly looking chair Long over dark here. dark yellow in the utility closet with the broom stick. It's like that movie, um, what was it called? With the, the guy who turns into the chair? Blew my mind. Um, amazing movie. I, uh, took some friends to that movie who, um, at least one of them doesn't regularly watch anime, and it was a very fun experience to hear his commentary on this chair movie. Mr. Burnt Umber in the fireplace with the poker. Okay. I don't know what you're saying, chair. And person. Seeing yellow, green, and red makes a rain cloud for your head. That's fun. Mix up purple, red, and green to impersonate the queen. He who wants the loudest purple, mix up yellow, green, and purple. A good the recipe for a good marshmallow uses purple, red, and yellow. Invisibility! I feel like this is the important one. If you wish to hide from view, mix up purple, green, and blue. I love science. Oh, it's so pretty. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow, I'm invisible. 
I don't know what that chair's deal is, but he's kind of freaking me out. That's also freaking me out. Let's, let's... The dumbwaiter is already up. The dumbwaiter is already up. Okay, okay. Whoops! I can see myself again. That Maybe. invisibility potion doesn't last long. I'm thinking. Okay. Wow! I thought they only had doors like this on TV. I wonder what this button does. Hey, look at that, would ya? Well, look at that, would ya? Howdy, Sam. Hi, King. Oh, hey, buddy. Thanks for knowing I was here. All right, we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. Clearly, I need to get to the other... I need to get to that room. Bye. All right. But maybe just like going in there now is That's gonna do the trick. House. I got that idea. Thank you. Huh? All right. I'm gonna try to just go back into that room and see the magnet is gonna be on the right side this time. I think you'd look better on camera if you were painted a different color because of the lighting on that side. You say, uh, whoops, uh, we'll continue this later. Good evening, Mr. Grand Champion! Hi! Is anybody else shipping wink and blink the doors? Just me? That's fair. Oh my gosh, there's a sock. Okay. Look, that's my sock. Oh my gosh, it worked. I didn't even have to like go invisible. I it was cool though. Um, I don't know what's going on with the chair in that room. Hey, but... a magnet. This is sure to come in handy. This game is tricky when there are a lot of different paths you can take that don't, like, lead anywhere. But it's good to know when you play it again. Like, oh, maybe the invisibility potion's gonna come in handy. Oh, not this room again. Let's just, like, listen to another little ditty, maybe. <laughs> okay. Have you ever tangled with a mango, a pineapple, or peach? Maybe you should mumble with a manatee in the grass cut at the beach. I have no idea what he just said, but it was. I'm sure it was very enlightening. Hello, doors. I'll be the first to write fan fiction about the doors. Wink and blink. Let me know what tropes I should do. I'm feeling enemies to friends to lovers. Let me know what, what the lore you think is behind those doors there. All right, we know where to go now. Hey, Otto. Hello. I believe we need to go down the waterfall if I remember it correctly. Ah! 
Bless his heart. He's going through it. Alright, alright. Hey, I've got an idea. What are you gonna do with that? Magnets attract metal, you know. Oh no, I don't think they do. I had this friend and well, what do you know? I got my lunchbox! Alright! Watch out, darkness! But Jamma Sam is ready to roll! It seems like Otto knows a lot about geysers and not much about the way the rest of the world works. And I love that for him. He chose his path of knowledge and he he took it. I do relate the most, I think, to Otto. <laughs> Let me know who your uh, favorite character is. Who do you relate the most to? Um, how about not right away, okay? Is it the revolutionary carrot? Is it the singing refrigerator? Bye, Otto! Great, I think we have everything. So if I'm not mistaken, I think we can go to Darkness's room now. After all of those uh little That's my Illuminator Mark V Jr. flashlight. Okay, whatever you say. Um after all those little sidetrack excursions. Um, I hope like you've enjoyed. Me. I mean, shh. Good evening, Mr. Grand Champion! Hi! I am just like inventing lore in my head for their relationship. Um, anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this little uh, cozy gameplay. Um, it's been really fun to revisit. Um, although the game is a little bit harder than I remember, or maybe my uh, I'm just not as good at point and click adventure games as I used to be. Um, let's head on into the finale. <laughs> Okay, this is it. This is the big one. All right, I'm ready. Huh? Darkness, it is I, Pajama Sam. I have come to vanquish you. Hello, Darkness? Closet, he's in the closet. There is a lock on the door, so maybe we are not done. It's locked. I wonder if the key is hiding around Maybe here. Maybe the key for the closet door is in there. I'm not sure. Oh, oh no. no. Look at all these keys. I'll never find the right one in this mess. This has got to be the key. Nope, that's not it. Bruh. <laughs> nah. -uh. Now that will give a kid nightmares. Okay, do we really? Nope. There's gotta be a trick to this. <laughs> the rest were just a diversion. Very smart. This must be the key. Okay, that's that. Now I'm ready to go into Darkness's closet and capture him. All right, this is it. Let's let's meet Darkness. Um, all of this was leading up to meeting the man, the myth, the legend himself. Watch out, Darkness! Here comes Pajama Sam. Darkness. Pajama Sam! 
I've come to vanquish you. Vanquish? Is that fun? I'm going to capture you and lock you in my signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox. Oh dear, that doesn't sound like fun at all. Why would you want to put me in a box? So I won't have to be scared of you anymore? You're scared? I'm the one who's going to be stuck in the box. Oh dear, no one ever wants to come over and play fun games with me. You like to play games? Yes, but I never have anyone to play with. At night, when I come out, everybody's asleep. You mean you don't have any friends? Well, no. I like to play games. Really? Do you like to play cheese and crackers? Do I? I played it with a toaster in the park. It's great. Oh, good. We, we just need some, some, some crackers and, and some tasty cheese. <laughs> Look at that move, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah? Hey, what do you know? I defeated darkness. Ooh, <laughs> I didn't see that one. You win. You're good at this, Sam. Thanks. I like this game. I better go home now, though. My mom might get worried. Okay, maybe we can play some more tomorrow night. Okay. Okay. Sam? Are you all right in there? Fine, Mom. Good night. Good night, dear. I did not pick up all the songs. <sighs> Good night, darkness. And that was Pajama Sam in No Need to Hide When It's Dark Outside. Um, at least that is the route that we were given to play. Um, very cute game. Definitely uh, funnier than I remember it being. I uh, definitely remember being entertained when I was a kid. But when I was like four years old, I'm sure a lot of those jokes like, went over my head. Um, the depth of the writing and um, the dialogue and the voice acting as an adult uh, playing it again. It's just really astounding. I think that they're absolute treasures of games and you can get them done pretty fast unless you're like me and you get confused <laughs> you have to keep revisiting the same room over and over again because you miss the socks um but thank you for joining me on this little adventure into the darkness um i had a lot of fun um th these ending credits are even so fun the characters were amazing if you got this far please let me know who your favorite character was uh, what was your favorite part um I, I think the carrot <laughs> was my favorite uh, just because it was so out of pocket. It was so unhinged. Um, all of these games are just absolutely amazing. So I'd love to continue this series. Um, if you'd like to see me play uh, the next game in the Pajama Sam series, please let me know. Um, and if you played these games as a kid, um, also let me know what your favorite was. I would love to hear your experience with them. Um, yeah, and if you enjoy me, I guess, as a person, if you want to see me wear more wigs, check out my Instagram and check out my TikTok. I do a lot of like silly little cosplay skits over there. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining me and uh, see you later, fellow trees. <laughs> Thank you.